almost everyone also fail. It's the opposite of succeed, right? And also no support. Who did that? Yeah, raise your hand. And who wrote uh, no support, fail, or not accepted? Okay, so those are really very realistic concerns that you will have. And then if you just say it is my project, then it might fail. Because if it's only you, okay, the key is to involve more people. Remember this morning I said, any organization, any, from Girl Scout to chess club, math club, uh, student council, have a group. Uh, join if you're not already in a group. Okay, join a group. Uh, who, again, who have organizations now when you go back to school? Who do not have, raise your hand. Okay, you can join any, as long as if you think your project is something that they will consider as good, and you want to do good, not like zakat, right? Sharing with others, you know, uh, helping other people, then it can be accepted as a project. If it's really, really good, the school might even say it's their project, right? So think, you have to work with other people. If you say, I'm afraid the project will not be accepted, then really there's a problem. Because why do you have a project that you, you will later realize nobody would accept? So right now, imagine already, if I do A, we will have a workshop on what your project will be. What will the people think of the project? Think of, are there women, are there men, are there young people, old people, rich people, poor people? Let's say you want to say, I will teach everyone how to use iPad, like in the kampong. It might fail, right? Yeah. Because maybe no one has iPad. Yep. So consider everything. Like, well, are you showing off that you are rich? You're going to the kampong and they're poor? Is that your purpose? Right? So try to project which is appropriate, that will make the people have power instead of making them feel low and push them down, right? So it's good if you ask the people in the community or look at the community what they need. <coughs> Any project, but don't think of super big project which might not succeed. Some people say, oh, I want to remove corruption in the whole of Indonesia. Sounds good, but I don't think you can do it, right? It's too big. Like so many people try to destroy corruption, it's still there. We know it's an important problem. Do something small. As they say, think big, but take small steps. Do little things that you can do in your own place. Now we will look at the different models of development. One you have, it's called traditional. And why do we call it traditional? Some reasons why it's called traditional. Huh? It's maybe you want to uh, teach people, okay, you can sell ikan, or you can sell dagging, you, know? you can sell whatever, buku. And then once they have money, they can compete, and then they can now enter into business. If you want to think the project, come here. It's called the traditional type of project, uh, stand here. Okay, that's one kind of project. You teach people how to enter into business, and then they can do their own business after that. Something like that. Another one is, these are all the different types of projects, is to look at what are the local needs of the people. Is it food? Is it water? Is it flood control? Okay, is it education? Okay, if you think something like that, or uh, cleaning up the environment, it's so destroyed, then you might want to do Basic needs. Okay, stay here if you are doing basic needs. The basic, basic needs of the people. Okay. And then there's a, uh, and that is giving things to the poor. Huh? For example, you can move around huh, if you think that's not what you want. The third model is human rights based model. Okay, it means you are not giving, rather, you are asking the people what they need, and it is what they want, it's from the bottom up, and they are given power. You don't help them, but they help themselves. 
Okay, and then you are empowering the people. And you have to give the example. Then come here, if that's your model. Okay? Okay. Now, those are three, and then there's another model, huh? So those are three. You have to select now. Okay. You have to go to one, two, or three. Human rights, space, it's from the bottom. You empower the people. It could be the village people, it could be women, it could be you know, uh, children, anything. And you have the basic needs approach giving to the poor. It's top down. Huh? And then traditional. Help them, you know, earn money. Okay, no one's doing traditional. So there are only two groups. Everyone and her. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. Talk to yourself and talk as a group. Okay. <laughs> what, what kind of projects are you thinking of? Why basic needs? And list down the different kinds of basic needs. And you list down the basic Okay, maybe you need a big place. Yeah. Okay. It's all, yeah, maybe have some subgroup. Maybe since you're many, four per, per subgroup. Four per subgroup. Four, 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 four. Yeah, good idea. Four, 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 four. So guys, uh, the big group, it gets divided into four uh, smaller groups. Oh, four, four persons. Okay, four persons. Yeah, four persons. Yeah. So yeah, thank you. Thank you. 
motivation pada anak kami kesemuan akademik itu salah satu yang gagal Three minutes. Kalau itu kan anak-anak ini jalan, jadi mencarinya di RT gitu. Ini sekitar mana yang cari hari kerja mereka belajar. Jadi kalian bantu, kalian bantu anak-anak. Jadi kalau itu yang dibantu pelajaran dong. Iya. Kita boleh pelajaran terus kalau kita mau tambah pelajaran. Misalnya seni atau apa? Oh iya, okay. Jadi kita boleh pelajari apa? So explore, explore dan kurikulum. Ya. Thank you. 